Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rose and I'm here to bring you another weekly love read. We're going to dive on in and see what's coming through for you in love and relationship in the upcoming days and week. Do keep in mind this reading here is for entertainment purposes only, so just take what you need from this reading and leave what doesn't apply. If you enjoy this read, if you find that it resonates for you, feel free to let me know by hitting that thumbs up button or the like button and or subscribing to catch more of my reads in the upcoming um, days and weeks. So as you can see Virgo, I've already laid out the card simply for the purposes of saving time. I'm trying to condense my readings down to about 10 minutes or thereabouts uh, just because the uploads take too long. Um, also to we will unpack these cards in a moment but i just want to let you know towards the end of this reading we will draw an extra animal spirit card and a tarot card to just draw in some extra messages around your special person the person you may be connecting to or the person that you're coming in here uh, on your mind okay so at the bottom of the deck you've got the nine of cups uh, not the nine of cups the Nine of Pentacles. So this is the overall energy um, in the upcoming days and week. And it's about feeling, feeling good. Feeling good. Feeling confident. Feeling independent. Feeling like, um, like regardless of what happens Virgo the nine of pentacles is an energy of someone who isn't relying on anybody else for anything okay um, this is going about doing you know the daily things the daily activities just getting on with life feeling confident happy and healthy with where you're at regardless of what's going on in your relationship or regardless of what's going on in this connection yeah looking at the tarot cards you've got the queen of cups here you could be dealing with a water sign cancer scorpio pisces but i feel with the queen of cups there's a lot of love here Okay, there's someone here that you really care about. There's someone here that really cares about you. Uh, this could be the mother of your children. You could be living with this person. But overall, this is an energy of two people uh, caring about one another. I do feel like directly underneath that you've got the Ace of Swords. I do feel like you are thinking about someone that you care about here or there's someone here that cares about you that's got you on their mind. Okay, this person cannot stop thinking about you here. There may be someone coming in wanting clarity, perhaps wanting a conversation. I feel Virgo with the Four of Cups, maybe this person wants to talk to you, but maybe you're not interested in this conversation. I feel like there is a tower moment or maybe this tower moment has already happened between you and someone that you care about here due to this devil energy. Could be a Capricorn that you're connecting with, with the sun, it could be a Leo as well. Okay. There is someone thinking about you here, Virgo. Um, they're thinking about whether or not to reach out to you. They are still drawn to you. The sun's here. Okay. At one point, you made this person feel happy or this person is drawn to you because the sun is a very warming energy and this person is warming up to the idea of possibly reaching out to you but i feel like remember at this point it's just an idea of reaching out to you because i feel like this person is drawn to talk to you 
I still feel with the devil here that this person is attached to you. Um, I feel like they're in their obsessive thoughts about you because we've got the devil and then we've got the ace of swords. Following on from the devil is the ace of swords. So I feel like this person cannot stop thinking about you. I feel like with the tower moment that they've realized something here. Um, they've awakened to something here. There could be with the devil, this person may be realizing that they had an unhealthy addiction or attachment to something here. This could be codependent energy here. With the Nine of Pentacles as the overriding energy tells me that this person is learning to stand on their own two feet. This person is learning to um, tap in to their inner resources. You know, of like confidence and whatever those res inner resources are. You know, strength, confidence, independence. Hmm. I feel um, we are in Leo season, so I feel this person is tempted to reach out to you during the Leo season because Leo is ruled by the sun. Hmm. Let's get some more messages around your person. Someone with the devil and the sun, someone's wanting attention here. Okay, someone may be acting in a way to draw your attention to them. They could be attention seeking. They probably don't realise that they're doing this. Let's get some more energy around this person. Interesting. I'll take the peacock, okay? Because um, that showed itself. The other card came out like this, so I won't take it. Um, so the upward pointing triangle with the line through it, Virgo, speaks to the sign of air. It could be an air sign that you're dealing with, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, I feel like this person is drawing attention or trying to gain your attention because what does the peacock do out in the wild to attract a mate? What does it do? It starts to open up. It's, it starts to put on a show. Okay, with the sun here, this is like this is uh, when I think of the sun, I think of Leo, and Leo is very theatrical. So I feel like this person with the peacock and the Leo energy of the sun is just like very out there energy, like putting on some kind of a show, putting on some kind of a performance to attract you or to gain your attention. I feel like this person is quite good looking, um, but there's something unique about this person's beauty. There's beauty coming through with this person, whether it's a, a female or a male, there's beauty here. Beauty in the uh, Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So whatever you see in this person is beautiful and striking to you it could be their eyes it could be their skin it could be their hair okay it could be the way they talk to you it could be their mannerisms i feel like this might be someone who has um a Mercury in Leo placement or a Venus in Leo placement. Okay, let's just get a clarity card. I feel like with a peacock too, this would speak to leadership. So I feel like this person is wanting to initiate, like 
initiate conversation. Look at that. Yeah, the emperor. Exactly. And the emperor is initiative energy, taking the initiative to make the first move, to reach out, to talk. Okay, the emperor also is an energy of someone who comes correct, you know, has a has a posture that is um, worthy. I feel like this could be divine masculine energy. This is someone who is needing to take charge or take control of the situation. Maybe trying to like turn things around here. But this person is definitely on a mission um, to seek you, Virgo, to reach out to you. They're on a mission to draw you in or draw your attention in some way. I'm seeing all of these pearls here. So this would speak to something special, okay? Um, this person sees you as something special. Maybe you see something special in this person or maybe this person is special to you. But there's a regalness coming through with this person. Okay, I'm seeing a crown on the emperor. I'm seeing, you know, this crown of feathers on the peacock. So I do feel like this person is definitely um, thinking about you highly or sees you in some kind of high regard. Or maybe you see them in some kind of high regard. So there we have it, Virgo. That's your messages this week. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Until next time, take care, my loves.